Hello Virgo and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your next 48 reading, you versus them. This is going to be from Monday, August 5th and Tuesday, August 6th. Guys, if you are already subscribed to my channel, I just want to thank you. Um, if you are not currently subscribed, please go ahead and click on that red subscribe button. Um, I'm choosing six winners for the month of August. Uh, I'm giving away one free 30-minute love reading, and I will be choosing five winners to have one question answered by me. Okay, so go ahead and subscri subscribe to enter a chance to win. Um, guys, if you're looking for a personal reading with me, you can book a session at www.thetaroflight.com. Information is in the description box below. We're going to be using the uh, Radiant Wise Tarot deck today. It is number 20 in the list below. I have all my decks listed in the description box below in case you're interested with an Amazon link. Um, I am giving $10 off personal readings if it is your first time having a reading with me, 30 minutes or more, guys, okay? All right, so this is a general reading. If it resonates, please be sure to like. If it does not resonate, please don't get upset. Don't take it to heart. It's just simply not your message, okay? We're going to be doing um, you versus your person the next 48 hours. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Virgos, for them and their person? The next 48 hours. What clarity and guidance can we give them for the next 48 hours, please, Holy Spirit? Actually, let's start with the romance angels. Holy Spirit. Guys, you're going to be to the left. Your person will be to the right. If you feel like you want to switch it, it's your reading. You do whatever you want to do. You can flip it, twist it, whatever you want. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my Aries? Okay, so express your love. Free yourself. Release your ex. Let your friends help you. Okay, guys. All right, let's go ahead and pull some tarot. All right, guys, so we have the Empress. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Sun. We have the Lovers. Okay. We have the Nine of Swords, and we have the Star. We have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Swords. Holy Spirit, what is the current state of this relationship? The Eight of Pentacles. What is crossing the relationship, please? The Magician. What is the outcome of this relationship in the next 48 hours, please? Okay, guys, we have the Five of Cups and the Four of Swords. Goodness. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so Virgo. The next couple of days, you're going to be expressing your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right. We have the Empress here. Um, guys, let me just go over what signs we could be dealing with for those of you who want to know. Um, so we could be dealing with um, Aries, Taurus, Libra, or Cancer, um, a Leo, a Gemini, an Aquarius. Yeah, and that's all I see. Okay, uh, possibly a Virgo, which is your energy. Okay, so express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I feel like, Virgo, you're here. You're looking for a new beginning with somebody. Okay, you're looking for a new beginning with somebody. Could possibly be with a mother of a child. Um, you know, the Empress does stand for pregnancy. It is maybe, you know, for, for a few of you, this may resonate where you may find out that someone's pregnant. Um, but ultimately, I feel like this is a new beginning. You're, you're trying to express your love to someone new. Um, you're looking for healing, growth, recovery in this situation. You, you want to speak your truth to this person, okay? Um, 
here we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, all right? So I feel like you may have uh, some strife going on with somebody, some conflict, somebody that, you know, competition here. We have the lovers, so we may find you having to choose between lovers, Virgo, okay? You know, there may be some competition here between lovers, and Spirit is advising you to free yourself from you know, one person, okay? So a spirit is advising you to give your love to one and free yourself to the other, okay? Um, so here we have on your person side, um, spirit, <laughs> the way they feel is release the X. The time has come to clear your energy. Uh, maybe this person knows that there's another person involved here. Maybe your person knows that there's another person involved. Um, this obviously has caused them quite a bit of pain, sleepless nights, anxiety, fear, and, um, you know, I feel like this person may have offered you prosperity, abundance, and a new beginning, and, um, you know, maybe they came to find out that, you know, this was a third party situation, that there was someone else with the lover's card, you're choosing between lovers, they were, they may have been all committed in this new beginning, and you weren't, um, and again, guys, this can be vice versa. I'm reading it the way I'm reading it. This is Virgo's side. This is their person. So that's how I'm reading it. Feel free to, you know, flip it if that's what resonates. Um, we have here, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Yeah, this person is leaning on their friends. They're leaning on their family for, for the support from this. So, you know, it seems like they may have been really hurt by this. And now they're leaning on their friends and their family members for healing. Okay, um, they're wishing for healing and, and you know, this, th their friends and their family, that's who they're close to now. We have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords is, you know, someone, this person has cut their emotions off and they're trying to think logically now. They're trying to think logically. So this person may have, you know, really put with this Ace of Pentacles, you know, put themselves all in and, you know, you were busy you know, starting a new relationship while you were still, you know, still had to free yourself from a past situation. And this person found out about it. So now, between you guys, we have the Eight of Pentacles. It's going to be a lot of work to fix this. It's going to be a lot of work to fix this. And what we have crossing this is the fact that there may have been manipulation here. Okay? With the Magician, I mean, the Magician... Looking at the magician from a positive light, Virgo, it could be, you know, someone that, you know, uses, this person has the power to get people to do what they want, okay, basically, or they have the power to, to attract the things that they want, and when we're using that in a negative way, which seems to be the issue here, because somebody here was starting something new when they haven't freed themselves from something else, okay, um, so this person has a cup has a pentacle, has a sword, has a wand. So this person just kind of like, you know, pulled whatever they had to pull out of their pocket to kind of make this relationship, you know, to start this new beginning when, when they still haven't freed themselves from the past relationship. So there may have been some manipulation there. And over the next couple of days, I feel that, you know, Yeah, I feel like maybe with your person, you might be offering them an apology with the Ace of Pentacles, and I don't, I don't see them taking it. I see them listening to their friends' advice and their family's advice, and I don't see it. And they want to just be cold right now. They don't want to be emotional towards you, Virgo, or vice versa. You know, this could be vice versa. Um, we have someone here doing a lot of thinking. Someone here is doing a lot of thinking. And someone here is really regretting their actions. They're looking at what was lost. Um, they're regretting what they did. This could be you, Virgo, okay? This could, you know, or this could be your person. Whoever messed up here, whoever lied, whoever, you know, wasn't honest, uh, they're realizing what they lost. And they're, they're really, really sad. There's a really heavy sense of loss here. You know, under the deck here, we have the Knight of Wands. So we could be dealing with Leo Sagittarius Aries. We have the Death card. And we have victory, and we have the Ten of Swords. So what this is telling me is, is that, you know, this person sees you as a player, or you came towards this person as a player because, you know, or somebody here, you know, was playing 
because they were, you know, they still had to free themselves from a situation. Um, something needed to end so that this change could begin. You know, something here needed to die for this for this new thing to blossom and begin. Um, and you know, you had victory for a minute there with this person, but then it ended in a ten of swords situation. A very, a very, you know painful ending because you know i guess this person found out you know they found out that there was someone else in the picture that you weren't really single or you know that you're per you know virgo you found out that your person wasn't really single okay and that's really painful because this you know with the with the six of wands it could have been a really successful relationship it could have been a really beautiful relationship but the fact that someone here wasn't single to make it work um, I feel a lot of pain here. I feel a lot of loss, a lot of suffering. All right, guys. So, yeah, I mean, you know, flip it however way, however way you want. If this resonates, please be sure to like. And don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win that free 30-minute love reading. And don't forget, for August, I'm choosing six winners, guys, okay? And um, if you would like to book me for a personal reading to get more guidance and clarity on this, the information is in the description box below. Take care, guys.